Rafe, congratulations, sir. Thank you. So, we've seen a lot of Dickens adaptations on screen before. What do you think seeing his life brings to the party? Well, the first thing to say is it's really the centre of the film is Nelly, and we see bits of Dickens. Uh, and we have to, in, in ten, trying to tell the story of Nellie and her relationship with Dickens, we have to sort of go and, 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 and gl grasp the nettle of the way Dickens exited his marriage uh, uh, and the distress of that for his wife, Catherine. And we see his vulnerability and his love for Nellie and we see him trying to find a way to make it work in secret in a time, of course, when the Victorian society, was, the social norms were quite, I mean, the social conventions are quite strict and morality, social morality and appearances, respectability, those things uh, counted for a lot. Do you think that learning about these things, about the sort of influence or his relationships with women changed your reading of his work? Well, the first, uh, yeah, I was, I have to say, I'm a bit ignorant about Dickens the man and so I had a sort of education in his life. I think Dickens was you know, what, when you tell this story, it's easy for people to forget that he carried within him this genius, this gift to, to write these stories. He was a brilliant storyteller, a great comic storyteller. And so what, you look at what he produced in his life and the way that that still has currency for us in films adaptations. I think uh, the totality of Dickens is important to, to, keep, to sort of keep in play. And I, in the film, I try to show the, the actor Dickens, the director, the family man, the, the socially gregarious, vital man, the man pa passionately concerned with the, the lives of the poor, the suffering on the streets, fallen women, prostitutes, impoverished children, children forced to work underage, and, then, and his family. And then there's Nellie. Thank you very much, Rafe. Much appreciated.